Hello everyone, I'm James Zhu. I'm from Dinstar. Today I will give you some uh, very brief introduction about our Dinstar analog gateway. Here we got the there is a submenu yeah, list of all the Dinstar analog gateway. This is the first lesson we will tell you how the our Dinstar gateway is look like and uh, what is the main features from the GUI. The first of all, we have seen that we log in already. We log in to our system GUI and uh, access the interface. So you can see that uh, this is the model we can see here, you know, uh, system info. Then in the first menu, so the system info, all the like MAC address, IP address, and uh, all the models here. Now you can see that I used the DAG 1000 and the uh, 4S40. For analog, I gave FSS as a hybrid uh, analog gateway. Here we can see that there is a stage and the static ticks. So the system info, registration info, and TCP, IP, TCP, UDP traffic, and RTP sessions. Here is a basic information about our system. If you, if you for example, if you registered your SIP phone or SIP the trunks, you will see the all the registration. If you got the, for example, if you got the course, you will see the all the RTP and the TCP IP or UDP traffic here. And then here we got the quick setup. If you want the first time you want to set up your system, you better you use the, it's better you use the quick setup then we'll guide your system, we'll guide you step by step to configure your system, okay? And uh, here we can see that if you got any problems or you want to set up some, some you know uh, network related in parameters, so you can go here. If you want to set up your QoS and others, you also can do that. And ARP is the same thing. And uh, I think the very uh, critical part is the uh, SIP server. So if you want to since the our Dinstar gateway, analog gateway, to use the to connect to the PST lines and also connect to the SIP site, SIP protocol. So if you want to integrate with your SIP server or connect to SIP server, for example, like PBX SIP server, or open source PBX, and so on. So you have to configure here. This one is for the PBX remote side, the SIP server address, and so on. So and uh, some parameter like. Uh, Default port numbers, outbound proxy, and so on. And uh, of course, you have to configure your port. The port here is uh, related to the, for example, you if you buy the for FXS or for FXS source here, you display the all the port number here, and you can configure the particular port for specific the the, the same chunk or same accounts. Okay, and uh, here we got the advanced. Uh, menus here got the advanced menu to relate to some um, some high level configurations. If you, for example, if you want to configure FXS, FS code, some tones, some detect num parameters, and uh, for example, color ID and so on, you can configure this even uh, like uh, fax or gains RX TX. If you got the volume is. Uh, very low, you can configure that. If you cannot uh, hang up the phones, you can also go here, configure that. Okay, here we got the effects. If you set the effects, you, you have configure effects, you know, the parameter to, to integrate your systems. Here we got the RTP um, port. If you can see, for example, you can um, set up your RTP port by default. And uh, you also can modify some uh, DTFM parameters and uh, like a, a codex and so on. So here we got the feature code. Of course, feature code will now this part is not yet displayed yet. So of course you can also can configure your system parameter. For example, you can change your uh, system port and uh, change to other port and so on. So it'll be no problem. And the call routing. Call routing is something like a you want to configure your FXS or FXO or SIP trunk, you have to configure the core direction. Something like you, for example, if you configure the SIP calls, I want to can control the SIP call to maybe the from PSTN to IP and also from the IP to PSTN. So this menu, we, this, this section will give you the, all the feature control for the core routings. 
and uh, here version IP to tell means like for example if you want to for example internal purely SIP servers you want to make outgoing call to P PSDN or FXO so you have actually if you configure the your PSDN to the from the from the IP to PSDN so it's uh, in other words in our terms is IP to tell actually it's uh, from the maybe from internal SIP server to go to the PST interface okay and uh, this part is uh, something opposite okay if you want to like outside the people want to call to PSTN after them forward to our SIP servers or other SIP proxy and so on so you have to configure that okay and uh, manipulation manipulation in terms of you want some in some uh, situation in the customer want to manipulate or want to change some uh, number or then uh, uh, numbers for example calling caller number or calling numbers uh, you can change that no problem okay you can mm, change the, the the policy based on the maybe customer needs okay here we can you for example here we want to change for example ip to tail calling numbers okay you can just end the, this then, then the calling number will be changed so will be changed to others so it's very flexible and then um, very trouble very i think it's very complete so you have to change it after then you can test it make sure it is work okay and uh, here is maintenance maintenance refer to uh, our system management for example if you want to uh, in case you want to may maybe you want to debug you want to pin some remote side you want to maybe the uh, reset your systems you want to restart your systems and so on so here we can see it's all the mm, features belong to the maintenance so you can maybe in case you want to update your firmware you also cannot so be no problem and uh, you've got the your firmware let's just upload that that's uh, your system will be uh, up to up, upgrade to new the uh, version okay you want to maybe uh, modify your password maybe web configuration password telnet password and so on so it's all can be done from here and the uh, factory reset if you set re back to the factory default settings your data will be lost okay so please be careful if you do that okay and the device in terms for example sometimes you know want to after configuration after maybe the, the power off or power uh, maybe system down you want to restart should be no problem you can click restart that okay this is uh, all our digital analog gateway just for the outlook for the configuration and then the, from the GUI so later we will give you the more about the deeper understand for the how to configure our particular features for example configure your SIP server configure your port number maybe end port number and the, some advanced adjust advanced the, the parameters and so on so and maybe I will give you the more about detail then the call control so please follow us from the uh, facebook or twitters and uh, maybe access our website to see more about the uh, update about the, our uh, uh, training sections okay later we'll give you more about the you know, other feature configurations thank you for watching bye bye